Right, that's all of the bits in the pickle. I've got to do some assembly of the uh, foundation ring and also the uh, front plate. It's got to go on the um, little uh, fire door liner. Um, so I'll get all of that assembled and then I've got a big sweat up. I've got to get all of that sweated up in one go. So I've got to figure out how to do that. Um, we've got to rig some sort of gadget up for that but anyway we'll come to that later on. doesn't matter about um, getting flux to run down through this rivet because the rivet is only holding this plate on um, so that it can be silver soldered that will be drilled out there's a, a 3 8 hole to drill in there later on well, I've just put in some flux around these old uh, joints just in case they um, you know start to uh, dissolve again which they probably will but this will just stop the, the metal from oxidising around them and then allow the, the solder to actually flow and uh, stay roughly in position. That's the plan. Um, right. Let's start with the um, foundation ring, I think. We'll start assembling the foundation ring. Right, what I've got to do is find a way of being able to hold this so I can solder it in this position. Um, but at the same time, when I've soldered that, I need to be able to flip it 
to that position to allow the gravity to work in uh, both directions really. Um, so I'm going to have to find some way of rigging that up. Right, let's see what I can come up with. success. I've got a, a hole. Uh, see if I can get a focus on that. I've got a hole in there and also, right, also unfortunately in here the um, the lining, the fire hole uh, lining, only soldered on, on this side. It didn't flow through. Well, it did flow through, but by the time I got to this bit, which was about half an hour, it took me half an hour to do all of this. Mo mo most of it was a, a success, but um, that particular part wasn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and um, oxypo braze it around there and use the OxyPro to fill this little hole here so I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to be able to film it's this little hole here and that piece in there the, I know they leak because when I took it out of the um, pickle because this is all sealed in here now and there was water inside that's where it was coming out um, I haven't tested it any further than that so I'll get these to sort it out first and then perhaps I'll fill it up with some more water and have a look see if it leaks I can't pressure test it yet but um, anyway I'm gonna gonna do that first right I've done a water test on it um, just around the uh, the firebox area and I, I haven't got any leaks there now at all um, inside of the uh, firebox uh, door liner is all now brazed up. I brazed the uh, corner up where there was a potential for a, a, a leak. Well it was not potential for a leak, it was leaking so I've now brazed that corner up and I've brazed the inside of the uh, firebox. Um, so now that this end I know doesn't leak. I haven't done a hydrostatic test on it yet because this end is still open. This end is still open. Um, 
which I will seal up but I can't seal it up yet because um, I've got to put the stays all of the, the stays have all got to go in the side and here all, all the way around there there's a load of stays to go in the only stays I've done are the uh, girder stays which um, sit on top of the firebox and the longitudinal stays which are the ends there which are these ones which eventually go into there and get bolt this this goes in there and get some um, silver soldered in there and these um, longitudinal stays form part of the strength from front to back but uh, I haven't done that yet so this has got to stay off until I've done oops, all of the firebox stays because if not it'll, it'll be more difficult to wash it out in between um, burn ups and that sort of thing so I'll leave this end open until the final thing and then to do a, a hydrostatic test I will have to bung off the uh, hole that's in here for the uh, steam which goes into the steam chest so anyway I'm quite happy with how that's gone only a couple of leaks on the whole of that which is is not surprising really considering the amount of times that I uh, heated it all up um, and I've still got more heating up to go so there could be more leaks develop um, there is one very small area here which I'm not too happy with it's not leaking um, but when I heat this end up to do the stays then I'll heat this up at the same time and run some more solder in there or braze it whatever um, at the time so great so good so far next operation is to um, make up some uh, stays some bronze stays but that'll be in another video